Rolling. Detective Anofrio, who gave you authority to notify these families? Well, I wasn't aware that I needed any authority, ma'am. I didn't want them to find out on the news that we had found their daughters. Is there some report from the coroner's office that I don't know about? Because last I heard, we hadn't positively Oh, come on, Chief. We all know what Excuse kind of evidence... Excuse me, Detective. All right, look. I apologize if I was out of line, but I have relationships with these families, okay? And I've been waiting a long time. If your time. relationships are going to interfere with my case, then we're going to need to do In, in all due respect, ma'am, it's just as much my case as it is yours. Detective Anofrio, you are retired. You don't work here anymore. Now, I have a murder investigation that I am seriously trying that to... That I helped you solve today. It is not the murder of those two little girls that I am presently concerned about. Creason's murder is your, is your priority? Yes. Right now, I am concerned about an individual who is alive and well and disturbed enough to drag someone from the bumper of a car. Okay, I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, maybe you haven't had a case like this, but, uh, you know, it sticks with you. And knowing that I made mistakes, like never checking that fire road, God, that just tears me up. But thanks to you, we've, we've moved past that, and we're closer than we've ever been. Still, I, I, I talked to Sid today. What? There were no fingerprints inside the plastic bags. And the DA won't close my case until I can provide a link between Grayson and the girls. Yes, he called me, ma'am. All right, listen. You know how we close your case? We close mine first. Because if we're right and the killer tortured Greason to get information, then it's the killer who provides the link that the DA needs. Detective Anofrio, you know these people. But who out there could have done something like this? Oh, God, they aren't suspects. In your case, but they are in mine. Well, they all wanted him caught and punished, sure. But I know these people. Has anyone done a reverse search on Greason yet? Maybe call the Vegas police where he lived for five years? Maybe talk to their missing persons department? Has anyone done anything on this case since I retired? You're assuming that Greason was on the straight and narrow all these years. And what I'm saying is there might be other dead girls out there with, with angry relatives of their own. Now. Find those people, look into them, and leave these people alone. Open that. Those bags were sealed shut when we found them. It was almost as if whoever found them was more concerned with finding both bodies than with finding a sister. Come to think of it, that person seemed more concerned with contaminating whatever print evidence might have been on those bags. Kind of like you were, Detective. Folks, the only evidence you have on me in this case is my devotion to it. You said yourself Greason must have gone willingly with his captor. I imagine he wouldn't have argued with a badge, even if yours is retired. Do you still own a gun, detective? Well, yeah, sure, I, I, this is crazy. How much time do you have left? 
What? I keep asking myself, why now? What would motivate somebody after all this time to kill Greason? Unless time itself was running out. You factor in the weight loss? The prostate you told Lieutenant Provenza you had removed? And the queasy stomach, which I'm assuming is due to the morphine you're taking? I am forced to conclude, detective, that you have cancer and that you're dying. So I'm asking you one more time, how much time do you have left? The doctor said three to six months and that was a month ago. You have the right to remain silent. Anything oh, you say can in and will. interest of time, I'll waive my rights. You are a decorated and lifelong member of law enforcement. How could you do something like this? Because the Make-A-Wish Foundation wasn't interested in doing it for me. Look, Todd calls me every few months and he wants to know, is there any movement? And every few months I got nothing to tell him. And I didn't want to die knowing I failed those girls. And that Greason was never going to have to pay for what he did. <laughs> So your cancer absolves you from upholding the law. The law failed, ma'am. It failed. When the doctor told me my situation, I, well, the way I looked at things, I, it just changed. And all I wanted to do was make it right for the families. And for yourself. Yeah. Sure, of course. I, you can't understand that. I could never do what you did. Then you're a better cop than I am. The job demands so much. My head was always at work. I could never find the balance. So I failed at marriage. And I failed at kids. And the only family I have left are the relatives of dead people. And I owed it to them. Now, you've closed your case. We can close mine, right? Only if you can demonstrate that it was the killer who led you to find those bodies. I can do one better than that. Greason can tell you himself. What is that? I recorded everything. He admitted to all of it, but I gotta warn you, this is not for the faint of heart. You wanted to know how far I would go to close my case. Well, I hooked him up and I drove all night. Now let's get this over with. No cops, detective. I, I need to get flung up here. Cut. Uh -huh.